I got here about 7 o'clock. Preparation and timing scored Reginald Carter a front row seat to history. It was definitely emotional and it was surreal. And to me, it was a, a, a prophecy fulfilled of John Mitchell, uh, who was the editor of the Richmond Planet newspaper that was founded, you know, here in Richmond, 1882, by 13 free slaves. He said that, you know, the black man was here to put up the monument. And when that time comes, the black man will be here to see it removed. The 12 ton bronze statue of General Lee was put up in 1890 when historians say white Southerners began erecting Confederate memorials, intimidating structures of the Lost Cause narrative. The Lee statue was the largest in the U.S. still up 150 years after the Civil War. Removing a monument doesn't erase the past, but removing that monument removes the symbol of oppression, the symbol that we are offended by seeing. The iconography of the Confederacy across the country are false idols. Gary Flowers is a lifelong Richmonder and expert of African American history. There was a sense of jubilee, and that's the feeling I got from the spirits of my ancestors who were victims of the enslavement system that these statues symbolized. The monument might be bronze and granite. But Flowers says removing them physically doesn't remove the systemic, societal scars the history leaves behind. They're far more than symbols. Heather Heyer is in a grave today because a white man from Ohio drove nearly a thousand miles to defend the Robert Lee statue in Charlottesville, Virginia. It's a symbolic alleviation of, of generational pain, but it should be a light of a path going forward. It is our individual choice and our institutional charge to now eradicate systemic racism in this country. As for the work still to be done on Monument Avenue, Thursday, crews will remove a time capsule that was put inside the cornerstone of the pedestal back in 1887. They will then replace it with one of modern artifacts that tell the story of the past year and a half. Working for you on Monument Avenue, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.